What's going on you guys? So welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be eating only Easy Bake foods for 24 hours. Growing up, I remember I always wanted an Easy Bake oven, but it was too expensive and I wasn't allowed to buy it. But just a couple of days ago, I was at Walmart, I was going through the toy section and I saw the Easy Bake oven and I was like, hold up, wait a minute, I remember this. So you know, my inner child, I was like, oh, this looks cute, I remember this, I wanna buy it. And I was like, but what, what am I gonna use it for? And then I looked to the side and they have a lot of food mixes for the Easy Bake oven and I'm like, wait, this will be such a good video idea. So I grab everything, put it in my cart, go to self-checkout, I check out everything, and now we're here. So for today's video, we're going to be baking all of our food in the Easy Bake Oven, and I mean breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So if you guys are excited for today's video, drop a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started with the first meal. Alright guys, so for breakfast, we're starting off with red velvet and strawberry cakes. So I have everything that I need here ready on my utensils. I looked online. I also preheated the oven for 20 minutes, so that should be ready. Now everything that you need is inside of this box. And if you ask me, I thought this was supposed to be easy. Look at everything that we have to mix in order to make this right here. This is supposed to be like kid friendly. I'm an adult and I feel like I'm going to be struggling because there's too much going on. But first we're going to start with the strawberry cake mix because I know you have to do both of them the strawberry and the red velvet. Wait, wait, wait. You should read the instructions first before you mess up. I was already going there because <laughs> knowing me, I'm like, I don't need the instructions. Midway, I'm like, dang it, I should have read them. Make the red velvet cake. Oh, so you have to make the red velvet first. See? Good thing I read the instructions. So we have to pour one red velvet cake mix into a bowl. Then you do four teaspoons of water. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to mix it. It says to mix until there's no lumps. And it also says that in cases like two things, you can also add a little bit of water. Wait, are you, are you sure you grabbed the right one? Dude, this does not look right. Okay, yeah, it smells like red velvet. It looks red. It looks like you're making cookie dough. Exactly, it's too <laughs> thick. I'm gonna add just a little bit. That looks much better, look at that. Okay, now this looks like a cake mix. I'm gonna take my tray. We are going to put the cake mix into the tray. Try Ooh. to get every bit of the cake mix. Low key, the batter smells like straight up candy. Like just sugar, right? Like candy, it does not smell like cake batter. How's that looking? I think you should cover <laughs> the sides up. That looks much better. Now that we have our red velvet cake mix in the tray, I'm going to carefully move the oven to the center. Now you take your spatula this is where you put the food and this is where the food comes out so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place the tray on the spatula you want to make sure you pop it inside then you push it put this right here until it goes all the way in Is it in there we go, we successfully put in the cake mix and now we're going to let it in here bake for 16 minutes. Now we're not done because we still have a lot of things left to do. For example, we have the vanilla frosting mix, the pink frosting mix, and we still have to make the strawberry cake mix. So we're gonna let this bake in here for 16 minutes and then once this is done, we're gonna start working on the strawberry cake mix. A few minutes later. Guys, this smells so good. I don't know what I was expecting it to smell like, but not like this. It smells really good. I'm kind of scared to take it out because I don't know if it's going to be good or what if I burned it? Can you imagine? Imagine. If I burned it? <laughs> all right, now let's take it out. You're going to take the spatula, you push the cake all the way to the other side. There we go. Moment of truth. Ooh. <laughs> One. Whoa. <gasps> God, that's actually not bad. And it smells so good. This, like I actually want a piece now. This smells like the cakes that you make from like the regular cake make box. For some reason I thought it would just be like flour with like sugar or something. Cause it's like for kids, but. It actually smells like a real yes, cake. It is like the real deal. We're gonna set this here to the side so it can cool down. Whoa, I'm actually like pretty shocked that it looks like this. And look, it's fully cooked. Do you see the corners? Now we're gonna start working on the strawberry cake mix. And pretty much we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did for this one. Just pour this in a bowl with four teaspoons of water and you should be good to go, so let's start making it. Okay, this is perfect. I feel like making the strawberry cake mix was much easier than the red velvet. This is like the perfect consistency. Look at that. I'm feeling like a whole baker over here. Now we're going to try to unmold the red velvet cake. It's looking a little crunchy. Hopefully it's nice and soft and moist. Just flip it over. I know, that's what I'm gonna try to do. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <gasps> Was I supposed to put like butter or something? I just realized that. 
Oh no! You're lying. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. We wait, got you it. should we be careful. It. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, it's looking a little stiff. <laughs> Don't break it. <laughs> but we're going to put it here on the side. I'm going to take a napkin and I'm just going to clean the little pan. You know what? I thought that it was going to easily come off with the napkin, but obviously not. There's still a lot of the red velvet cake mix here. And I don't want it to burn in the oven, so I'm going to wash it. All right, guys. I washed the cake pan. Now we're going to take the cake mix and same thing all over again. We're just going to place it into the pan. There we go. Just like that. We're going to tap it to get rid of any air bubbles. We're going to place it here. Take our spatula, push it all the way in. Make sure it's in the oven. There we go. And we're going to let it cook for another 16 minutes. It's been 16 minutes. Now we're going to take out the strawberry cake. There we go. Let's take it out. Hopefully this one came out better. Let's see. Ooh. Wait, this one's really fluffy. Look at this one. That one came out way better. Way better than the red velvet. Okay, we're going <laughs> to... We're also going to put that to the side. Let it cool down. We're going to start working on the frosting. So we have the vanilla and we also have the strawberry frosting. So what you do is you basically do the same thing. I've noticed that with all of the mixes, well, so far, all you need is just water. That's literally all you need. So first, I'm going to start working on the vanilla frosting. So for this one, you just need one pack of vanilla frosting and one and a half teaspoons of water into a bowl. Oh, this one smells really good. It looks, dude, is it powdered sugar? I think it is. I think it's powdered sugar. It smells like it and it looks like you it. You should now. try it. Let me see. <laughs> That's not powdered That's sugar. sugar. <laughs> Alright, let's do one teaspoon of water and then half a teaspoon of more water. Now we're going to mix it. Oh, this one's a little bit messy. Whoa, okay. I thought it was going to be like a runny consistency. This is thick. Now we're going to do the same thing for the strawberry frosting. Wait, this one is white. Oh, maybe with the water, it will like activate the color. For this one, you need one and one fourth teaspoon of water. Now we're going to again mix it. Look, you can already see it's turning pink. I am all done mixing the frosting with the water. This one is definitely a thicker consistency compared to the vanilla one, but we're pretty much all done. We have the frostings and we have both of the cake. Now I'm going to clean up my area because obviously I made a big mess and then we're going to start decorating the cake and then the best part you already know, we're going to try it. Here comes the fun part. We're going to start decorating the cake but first i want to give you a close-up of the cake so you can see in my personal opinion i feel like the strawberry cake looks the most fluffiest and moist compared to the red velvet one but you're going to take the strawberry frosting so you're going to spread it on top of the strawberry cake i want to make sure i get a frosting in each bite you're going to take the red velvet cake and then you're going to place it let's do like this then you take the vanilla frosting you do the same thing you spread it on top of the red velvet cake okay that looks pretty good now we're gonna take my mouth is literally watering we're gonna take the confetti these are little hearts oh <gasps> that's so cute now we're going to cut the cake so you can cut it into little squares or however you want i'm just gonna do three slices so one and then the third one close up again of the masterpiece that i created Jeez. what do you rate it like look honestly wise. for a cake that's made out in a kid's toy baking thing it looks pretty good in my opinion the way that it looks i'm gonna rate it like an eight out of ten it's i'm not gonna bad. say the same thing eight out of ten we're gonna try this one the middle one this one looks really good Dude. okay let's try it I don't know, did you like it or not? Jason, shut up. You need to try this. Like, I am not even kidding Dude, or over-exaggerating. The pink one is so fluffy. The pink cake mix tastes exactly like the strawberry cake mix that I always make here in the house. Ooh, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I just took a small bite. Exactly. It's not bad. The strawberry cake is so moist and fluffy. The red velvet is a little bit more on the crunchier side, but it's like a perfect combo. So final thoughts, I'm gonna rate it eight and a half out of ten. For me to bake this cake in a toy oven is actually not bad. I feel like if I would have made this when I was like eight or nine, I would have been like 10 out of 10. But again, it's actually pretty good. Now I'm really excited to start working on lunch. It is lunch time. And for lunch, we have some cheese pizzas. I mean, look at these beauties. Then we have some whoopie pies. And honestly, I did this off camera because I feel like it's just the same process over and over. Take the mixture, put it in a bowl, mix it with water, pop it in the oven. And you know, it was like too repetitive. I was like, you know what? Let me just do it off camera and show you the final results, which I was laughing so hard because look at this. 
beautiful on the packaging and then boom this is what they look like but anyways this is what the whoopie pies look like if i'm being honest these whoopie pies look almost the same as like the ones in the packaging the cheese pizza that's a whole different story but we're going to give it a try and see what it tastes like but first of all let me give you a close-up of the cheese pizza don't show them the back i know i was just about to say look it looks like it's raw what if i get the bubble guts hopefully i don't regret this later okay here we go cheers Honest review. No, I think it's raw. It's so chewy. The tomato sauce is bomb though. That tastes like marin actual marinara sauce. The cheese it doesn't really taste like cheese. It almost tastes like mashed potatoes. And then the dough, it tastes like dough, but it's so chewy to the point where I think it's raw. I'm gonna rate these three out of 10. Oh my God, is that bad? I didn't, I didn't like these. Mm -mm. The only good thing about that is the marinara sauce. Other than that, like, Mm -mm. It's not giving what it's supposed to give. Now let's try the whoopie pies. Ooh, I'm excited. Those actually look bomb. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Here we go. Dessert time. Why is it so thick? It's so chocolatey. Obviously, it's chocolate, but it tastes like brownie. It the is icing. a brownie mix. Is it? Yeah, it's like a brownie type of mm -hmm. thing. <laughs> the frosting is so good with the chocolate it's really good i would rather eat the whoopie pies than the cheese pizza i'm gonna rate these a six out of ten again i'd rather eat these than the cheese pizza so so far my favorite meal has been breakfast i'm gonna rate lunch overall in total like a five out of ten hopefully we have better luck for dinner for dinner, we have a little bit of everything. So let me tell you what's on the menu for tonight. We have some chocolate chip cookies with chocolate frosting in the center. Then we have these pink sugar cookies with lemon frosting in the center. These smell and look so good. So I cannot wait to try these. Then we have some pretzels with salt on top and we have the nacho cheese to dip the pretzels in. So first things first, I'm gonna start with like the main course, which is the pretzels. Then we'll move on to dessert. So this is a close up of the pretzels. They're nice and toasty from the back so that's good first I'm gonna try it by itself and then we'll dip it in the nacho cheese that's literally crunchy mm -hmm. very crunchy I can definitely taste the salt the flavor not so good it tastes just like raw dough maybe if I dip it in the nacho cheese it'll be a little bit better here we go really crunchy nacho cheese Makes it a little bit better, but also I feel like the nacho cheese already has salt, so it's like extra salty since the pretzel does have salt on top. I'm gonna rate the pretzels a five out of 10. Now we're gonna try the chocolate chip cookie. Let me give you a close up of the chocolate chip cookie. All right, now let's try it. Ooh, that's extra crunchy. This is really good. Surprisingly, they're better than I expected. So I'm gonna rate the chocolate chip cookies a six out of 10. Now we're gonna try the ones that I'm the most excited for. Pink sugar cookie with lemon frosting. Look at that, even just the color is so vibrant and so pretty. So hopefully it does not disappoint and it's good. Mm-hmm. These are really delicious. The center of the cookie is like kind of gooey and chewy. The outside of the cookie is nice and crunchy. And then the lemon frosting is so citrusy and so much flavor going on in the frosting. This is by far my favorite cookie between this one and the chocolate chip cookie. I absolutely love this one the most. I'm gonna rate this one eight out of 10. I think out of everything that I tried today, my favorite meals were definitely the breakfast, which was the red velvet and strawberry cakes. And then this cookie right here. Those were like my top two favorite. Everything else was good. But overall, I want to say that everything that I tried in today's video was not bad. Keep in mind that I cooked it in a toy oven, which is still blows my mind. I'm going to end the video right here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if you guys want to see a part two of cooking in the Easy Bake Oven. And if you guys have any other video ideas, drop them down below in the comment section. Once again, thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support. I love y'all so much. And if you did enjoy today's video, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LABB, who we running with?